what's going on guys as you can see we have a AC unit that is low on refrigerant extremely low it's 410A Goodman unit I got my tank hooked up and first thing we want to do is bleed the line and before I charge it I'm gonna go get the wet bulb inside so I'm gonna grab my psychrometer here oh, as you can see I keep old Craig's book in my AC bag here Craig from AC Service Tech his YouTube channel fantastic book I will leave a link to it in the description below fantastic book for you new guys there's Craig refrigerant and charging refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning and uh, old chapter 7 checking the refrigerant charge methods to check refrigerant charge so great book for you new guys out there I keep it in my in my AC bag for troubleshooting all right let's go get some wet bulb all right guys this air conditioner has a piston in it so we got to charge by superheat and if it has a TXV, a thermal expansion valve, you gotta charge by subcool. But on this one, we're gonna charge by superheat because it's a piston. You'll learn all that in, in Craig's book. Explains it really well, makes it simple for you. And as you remember, so the outdoor temperature, this is uh, from Craig's book, AC Service Tech. My outdoor temperature was 75. Uh, indoor wet bulb, 64. So you come across 75. Indoor wet bulb, 64. 18 so there you go it's even in Craig's book 18 degree superheat so awesome book totally recommend it I keep it right here in the AC bag if I'm gonna run up on the old head smasher and as you can see I got my hit and run stuff here I don't have my fancy gauges uh, maintenance guys maintenance techs you don't need fancy stuff all you need is a, a coupling with a uh, this uh, ST4 temperature gauge and analog gauges you don't need fancy stuff to do all this so what we're gonna do is get to 18 degrees superheat I've already bled my line now we're just gonna put some in little by little you don't want to overcharge it this 410a is dangerous man you can overcharge it quick I don't have time to do a leak search today so we're just gonna get them cooling until I can come back you guys know I do leak searches those of you who watch the channel so I'll be right back. Once I get to 18 degrees superheat, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, as you can see, my line temperature is 64 degrees. The suction line here, 64 degrees. So you take 64 and you minus 46, the saturation here. That's the pink line for 410A. See how it's 46, it goes up by two. So 40, two, four, six. So 64 minus 46, is an 18 degree superheat. I've hit my recommended superheat. So I just kept just kept popping it till it rose up to 46 saturation. So again that's 64 line temp minus 46 saturation. And if you have R22 you use the green line. Yeah so I took the temperature coming out of the air vents with my Raytech here and there. she's blowing cold. She's gonna be good to go. So that's it. I don't have time to do a leak check, like I said earlier, but this is how you charge a AC unit correctly, or you know, the best you can. It beats uh, somebody being like, oh, put it up to 70 PSI. That's all you got to do. Or, oh man, just put it up to 125 PSI. It'd be good to go. No, no, don't do that, guys. Learn superheat. Learn to do it the correct way. And uh, as you can see, you don't need any fancy equipment. I mean, this is probably 50 bucks. You'll probably find it cheaper used and... Uh, hundred something dollar pair of gauges you don't need fancy uh, electronic equipment and all the gauges and all the fancy beeping and beeping and blooping and blinking lights so that's it I'll see you guys on the next video Thanks.